Okay. So we were looking into this navigator, right? So in this navigator, we said all me related functions are uh, employee self-service functions. So in this, we said personal information will contain personal information related details. Directory <coughs> will contain organization directory. Connections will contain, uh, you know, how you are connected uh, with your fellow colleagues in the organization. Journeys will contain what are the journeys or what are the tasks which you have to finish. Okay. Your journeys. And uh, this is all about the employee themselves. Right. Admin would have created some journey and would have assigned to the employees. So that would be uh, journeys. That... Then you have pay, pay related stuff. So everything related to payroll, like pay slip, document of records, and uh, any other forms which you have to download, everything year end related documents, everything will be there uh, inside pay. So everything related to payroll will be there under me pay. Right? <laughs> then time and absences. So this is about time and the absences, uh, or your absence balances, absence plans, all those things will be there. Uh, how many leaves you have applied? What is your uh, time calendar? What is your schedule you are in? What is your team shift and absences so that you can review those and then apply for leaves and absences? So this is all about that. When we go into absences, we'll see there. Then career and performance. This is all about goals, the performance goals, development goals. Uh, then this is also about the performance management, like the performance appraisals and all those things. Okay. Then my spotlight is if you want to access any function, everything, uh, everything around your function, you can access it using this my spotlight. Okay. This is that. Then learning is all about the learning of the courses, enrolling into the courses and all those things as an employee. So anything under this is as an employee. Then you have celebrate. So HCM celebrate is all about uh, celebrating the success of your fellow colleagues by sending them some greeting or some sending them some wishes or all those things. So celebrate is a new thing which has been introduced uh, in the one or two uh, releases, backdated things. So in the last one year only, this has been introduced. Then you have benefits, which talks about the employee uh, benefits as such, right? What are the enrollments? Or the, what are the benefit plans in which the employee has enrolled? All those things. Then wellness is all about how you are tracking your uh, progress and uh, everything. Then you have, uh, you know, the personal brand. So you are uh, branding related details. You can put it over here. You can participate in some volunteering projects and everything is available over here under volunteering. You can connect with social um, uh, media from here. Then time, everything related to time entries, time cards and all those things can be accessed even from here. Then you have the expenses. So if your organization is using expense reimbursements module, then all your expenses uh, can be uh, handled from here. Then you have roles and delegations. So we said that whatever you see on the UI when you log in is everything because of the roles which are associated to the employee. So you can see the roles and everything from here. Then the curriculum data uh, from here. So everything in me is basically employee related. Okay. Everything in me is basically employee related. Then you have my team. So everything in my team is about the line manager or the manager whom you report to directly. So you can see, <clears throat> so you can see that my team is, you can review your employees who report to you as an employee in the company. Then you can see your all teammates or all your reportees journeys and whether they have progressed it or not and all those things. Okay, then uh, anything related to hiring in your team as a hiring manager, you can uh, go ahead and hire. Then goals talks about the performance goals. Then career overview talks about uh, career development goals of all the employees who are reporting to you. So when we go into goal management, we will discuss these things. Okay. Then uh, you also have performance. This is about performance appraisals, performance documents, and all those things. Right. Uh, so some of them you are seeing duplicate entries over here. The reason being is one of the entry would be taking you to the mobile response UI. Other entry would be taking you to the VBCS UI. Maybe on this environment, uh, or rather the profiles which are associated with these flipping up, they are not set up properly on this uh, demo environment. So that's why you see two entries. Ideally, you will see only one entry. <clears throat> Ideally, you will see only one entry as such. 
okay uh, so you don't have to worry about that which entry you see depends on what is the direction your organization wants to take for which you are implementing then career and performance you can look into the career and performance of uh, every employee like career development goals and the performance appraisals and all those things talent review boards you can um, you can see the talent review uh, so talent review boards will be there in which you assess the talents of uh, all your reportees and put them in some uh, uh, grids so you have some grids like performance rating impact of loss um, risk of loss and then you give some rating to those employees and these ratings will be visible only to manager and admin they are not visible to the employee okay, okay so you want to assess the talent in your organization so <clears throat> in those cases <clears throat> admin will open up the talent review and then you will get the talent review board okay as a manager then this is for learning as a manager then learning uh, again these two entries are coming probably one is a vbcs and one is admin then you have new person so as a uh as a hiring manager you can hire and this is workforce compensation so uh this is about uh if there is any annual raise in the company then uh a window will be open for the workforce compensation and every employee you can look into that in order to see if uh, there is a, a compensation round which has been announced in the company and then uh, you can and then you can give the raises as a manager or you can allocate the budget which is given to you as a manager uh, um, within that budget you give whatever you have to give to your team members and then you submit it to your manager and so like that it goes on till the highest point in the organization to the ceo level or the board of directors and then once it is approved then you can communicate to your team members so this is all about the compensation over here then you have a team skills center you can see all the skills uh, you can see all the skills which are available uh, you can see all the skills which are available for your team and then you can add that skill to your any of your employees then team goal center you can look at all the goals of your team members and then you can add a goal or you can explore the goals and then you can add a goal uh, to your team members so this is about a manager what functions can a manager do then procurement uh, so if your organization is tied up with any uh, external suppliers for like for example laptops and other hardware and all those things right then um, this will be there so this is about uh, the procurement nothing much uh, from the hcm perspective my client groups the most important thing my client groups is about the administrative activities so as an admin uh, if i have to perform any function then i must come under my client groups okay so then hiring is about the uh, recruiter as such then journeys as an admin then journey uh, journeys as an admin you can create various journeys and give the criteria like to whom this journey should be allocated and all those things then new person you can see uh, you can hire people from here as an admin person management you can search for any person and perform some actions right so when we go when we finish global hr you will see that you can perform the administrative actions as a hr from here then person spotlight you can access any person and then perform some function as this absences when we go to absences we'll see how to do the setup and implementation from this absences area time management this is about time and labor compensation everything related to individual compensation workforce compensation total compensation salary basis and everything will be there in the compensation uh, stuff the budgets budget pools and all those things will be there here and this is about the performance goals how to do the setup and how to perform the administrative activities then performance appraisal profile management so here you can see job profile person profile uh, then uh, you can also see uh, uh, position profile how do we create the profile sections then profile content section access and all those things uh, which uh, all those things you can see it from here then career development uh, this is about the career development goals where when we go into goal management we look into this then talent review board as an admin you can see the talent review boards the succession plan right what is the succession plan for every employee you can see it over here okay so uh, for growing in the organization then talent pools you can create talent pools and then find out the best talent in your organization and then use them 
then this is learning administrator, then workforce structures, everything related to job, position, grade, security profiles, data security profiles, um, all those the data roles, um, everything you can see from workforce structures over here. The mass updates, if you want to perform any uh, mass update uh, as a HR admin, then you will find it from here. Then payroll, everything related to payroll. Uh, when we go into payroll concepts, we'll look into over here. Then you have data exchange. So this data exchange is all about HCM data loader, HCM spreadsheet data loader, and it's about the HCM extracts. So when we go into those topics, we will cover all the stuff from here. Then um, you have HCM communicate. So as an admin, if you want to communicate, uh, if you want to communicate, if you want to do some org wide communications, then um, you can do uh, you can do that by setting up the uh, stuff from here. Okay, so this is anything related to my client groups is all about admin. Then if you have implemented HR help desk, um, then, or if you want to implement HR help desk, then this is the area from where uh, you will have to implement, you have to implement the queues and all those things. Okay, so this is also there in EBS as well, help desk part. Then product management, you don't worry. Benefits administration, this is for benefits enrollments, benefits admin, uh, benefits plan configuration, wellness evaluation and reporting. So this is all about uh, a benefits admin, what they can do. So if you are a benefits manager or a benefits uh, uh, you know, specialist or a benefits user, all the functions you will do it from here. Okay, then uh, risk management knowledge, these are not that, uh, these are not related to the HCM part. The next important thing for us uh, in this menu entries is going to be my enterprise. So as I told you, every enterprise, enterprise is a, um, enterprise is a, what do you call, enterprise is a headquartered company. And uh, what are all the uh, offerings which you are implementing, then selecting the offerings, you select it from here. So if, do you want to implement HCM? Do you want to implement SCM? Do you want to implement financials, procurement? You choose the offerings from there. Now, within the offerings also, uh, within the offerings also, uh, you get to choose, within the offerings also, you get to choose, uh, what do you call, uh, which products inside the offering or which functional areas you want to implement, right? So this is all about choosing the offerings from the enterprise. Then new features. For every release, there will be some new features. You can see those new features from here and feature updates, what are happening for every release and enterprise. So you can go to the settings of the enterprise and look into what settings are there over here. Then setup and maintenance. So you can see this setup and maintenance uh, as you can navigate it from here. You can also navigate setup and maintenance from here as well. Okay, so you can see offerings, functional areas, and then all the tasks from here and do all those things. So enterprise is an important thing. Next, the most important thing again is the tools. So from tools, you have a lot of options, a uh, lot of navigation which you can do. One is if you want to make any announcements, you can make it from here. Alerts, you can compose alerts based on REST APIs or based on some events. Alerts are notifications which are sent to the users uh, when some event occurs. Okay, So that event can be uh, captured with the help of events or it can also be a REST API call based on which uh, you perform some uh, action. So this is alerts and these alerts will be notified to this user from this notification icon over here. Okay. This is called as a notification bell icon and all the notifications you can see from here. Even the workflow notifications and approvals also, you will get it from here. Now the notification can itself be a text. The notification can itself be, uh, uh, the notifications can itself be a BIP report, anything. Uh, so it all depends on how the notification has been implemented over there. Okay, so that is on the alerts part. You can review if you want to work on any alerts from here. Then this is about deep links. Then uh, reports and analytics I have already shown you. This is in this space. We always go into BIP reports, OTBI analysis, OTBI dashboards, uh, BIP jobs, and uh, if you want to connect to the database, this is the only place from here. Okay, this is the only place where you connect to the database. I think I showed you in the last session. Then you have scheduled process. This is the ESS jobs which are there. Okay, this is the ESS jobs which are there. And these ESS jobs, uh, you can submit it from here. These are like concurrent requests and all those things. You can submit it. This runs in the ESS server. Okay, then you have security console. 
So security console talks about various users, creation of users, comparison of users, creation of roles, comparison of roles and all those things. Okay, so this is about the security console. So when we go into security after this navigations, we will start creating the user accounts, looking into roles and the role hierarchy and all those things. Then you have file import and export. You can export and import various files into the Fusion HCM system with the help of file server. Uh, so you can use this file import and export for that. Audit reports, this is the place where the auditing happens and the audit, uh, uh, this is a place where auditing happens and, uh, you know, you can export or you can download the audit reports in any product, any module. You can choose the attributes and do all those things and then, uh, you know, export the results from here. So if somebody wants an audit, then you can get the audit report from here for your product. Then you have uh, transaction console. So when we go into workflow notifications, when we go into workflow notifications and approvals, you will see how to configure the transaction approval rules from here. Okay. And uh, how to go into BPM worklist, that is business process management worklist. Um, uh, we can see how we can see that when we go into workflow notifications and approvals, the preferences of the notifications which come up in the bell icon. Then you have um, ADF desktop integrator. Um, for some of the applications, you would need the Excel plugin installer, uh, which integrates with the uh, uh, which integrates with the Fusion applications. So you have to install that and then keep it in place. So this is about the tools menu, which is very important for an implementation consultant or for an admin. Then you have configuration. So everything related to customization will be there under this configuration menu. How to create sandboxes? How to migrate sandboxes? how to change the appearance of various pages, how to change the structure. Let's say I don't want this uh, menu or menu entry and all the functions under that. I can disable it based on some conditions. I can do that. Then I can also uh, look into the user interface actions, user interface text, not actions, sorry. And you can convert some text into another text. And then um, this is like you can you can do all these things over here. Then you have the application composer or the page composer. So you can modify the pages over there uh, based on your requirement and you can publish the sandbox onto the mainline environment. Then you have page integration. You can integrate the client specific. Uh, you can integrate the client specific pages from there. And then, um, uh, you know, from the fusion system, you can navigate to the various pages over there. Okay, which are there with the client. And if you are modifying any visual builder pages, uh, right? So you have to go into the VBCS and then modify it from there. So for that, you need to learn VBCS and then do the modifications. Then my reporting. So here you will have all the dashboards. Uh, again, this menu is coming because this user has the, um, this user has the HR specialist or analyst uh, kind of a role. So if that role is not there, then this menu would not come. Okay, so you can see the payroll analytics from here, HR dashboard, uh, the recruit to hire dashboard, a compensation dashboard, employment dashboard, a lot of dashboards are there. So wherever you see dashboards, uh, wherever you see dashboards, this is all about OTBI dashboards. So when we go into OTBI, we'll see how to build the analysis um, and all those things. Okay, so you can see uh, all the dashboards navigations from here. Right. You can create your own dashboards and then you can work on those things and you can study how these dashboards have been built. So if you have studied all these dashboards, then you will become expert in building a uh, dashboard and, you know, building analysis and how to build a new one and all those things. OK, then uh, you have partner management. This has nothing to do uh, over here. Then you don't have to worry about that. Then others. This is about. Uh, Setup and maintenance, BPM work list. This is for notifications and approvals and social uh, media and all those things. So this is the thing which is there in the navigator. Then this is the icon. Uh, you can change this icon and all those things using customization. Then this is called as a global search bar. So in this global search bar, I can do two things. One is I can search for people and perform actions on those people. So let's say I search for, uh, let's say I search for, uh, uh, Eden. Okay. I can perform action on Eden. Eden is an employee who reports to Curtis VT. So I can perform an action on this particular person by go, lo looking at all the functions. Now, what are these functions and what could be these functions? 
these are all administrative functions. Now, which module administrative functions? It can be HR, it can be payroll, it can be recruiting, it can be anything. So that's why you see absence balances, absence cases, adding a worker, different types of workers are there. Uh, adding absence, adding any time document, this is in performance uh, review, add assignment for multi, multi jobs or multi assignment related models, you add it from here. Putting the employee to a succession plan, administering the compensation, allocating the checklist areas of responsibility of this particular person whom you have searched. Then you can see a change location, change manager, change photo, change salary. These are all HR administrative actions uh, which can be done. Then costing related stuff, then succession plans, okay, document of records, element entries, employee summary, employment info, uh, event notifications, that is the payroll admin, existing absences, again, absence admin, uh, local and global transfer, looking into the user account, uh, looking into the user logins and adding the roles and all those things. The results of a person in the payroll after they have been processed uh, through some payroll, then history of salary, seniority date, simplified quick pay, skills, Again, everything related to talent, local transfer, work relationship and work schedules assignment. So a lot of things are there. So instead of going through, uh, you know, one menu inside that one menu entry and all those things, you can perform a global search on the people and perform the actions. Now, if I'm a line manager, can I do an action on uh, somebody else's team? No, I cannot do. So I can only access my team from here and my team members from here and perform an action. But why so many people are coming to this particular employee is this particular employee with which we have logged in is an employee in the company, is a line manager in the company, and he is also an admin in the company. So that's why he is able to access all the people from there. Usually, you can access only uh, your reportees from there. Okay. So this is on the global search bar. So you can search for any person, perform any action. Usually, if this is not visible over here, it will be visible over here. This, if you click on this, um, you know, this mirror over here, you can search, search icon, then this will open up and then you can perform the uh, actions. Then this is the home page icon. So if you, wherever on whichever page you are, you will see this home page icon. And when you click on that, this is the home page which you can come. And this is the banner. So this banner also, this banner also you can change, right? You can change this banner as well. There are profiles, FND related profiles where you can change the banner. So if in some clients uh, may want to see it as a different thing, so they can get that from here. Then uh, this is about the favorites and the recent items. Uh, favorites, you can mark anything as a favorite and this user, which all pages he has navigated to, uh, the links to those pages will be added into the recent items. Then favorites, you can mark anything as favorites, you can manage favorites. And usually, which are the most frequently used things, you can put them in favorites. And you can organize these favorites into folder structures and the functions under that. Uh, so these are all the end user uh, related or the implementation consultant related thing where the client would say that, okay, I want these functions over here. They should be able to navigate it from favorites instead of going through this and then going to different place and navigating. I want them to access it from here itself. So they can, it will directly take you to that particular page. So this is favorites and recent items. Now this is browser specific concept only. Okay. Uh, the same concept is being put in the applications. Then you have the watch list. So if there is any updates or any events which happen, um, so what you can do is you can add that page to the watch list and you can see which are the uh, pages you have added to the watch list over here. So it is just for notification purpose um, that some event has occurred over there. Somebody has made some changes. Like for example, if there is workforce compensation and you want to see what your manager has allocated uh, to your team members, the budget. So every time there is a change you want yourself to uh, go and uh, you know be notified and then see the <laughs> and then see the changes so you add that workforce compensation page to watch list and any changes which happen on that particular page you will be uh, notified and then you can see that the uh, you can see the changes okay so you don't have to every time go into that page even though there is no change you just want to go to that page or you want to watch that page whenever any change happens. So you might be busy in some other work. So you don't want to every day navigate to that. So only if there is a change, you go and then um, you can see. So you see active compensation plans, total compensation statement, everything you can see under compensation. 
okay so these are all the things which are there for watch list then notification bell icon so in notification bell icon you can see um, all these things over here right um, as i said you will have notifications coming because of a process requiring approvals or sometimes a process might not require notification but it can be a for your information kind of a notification or the notification could require approvals so here you will have approve button and reject button and based on that you can approve from here and this notification is more likely a hyperlink over here so this notification can be a text file this notification can be um, a, a small video which could be attached which or which could be coming from the journeys like from a journey contains tasks or a checklist contain list of tasks uh, if the checklist is associated to you, then you have to perform those tasks as such. So a task can be as simple as viewing a video or viewing or reading some text or a welcome note from the CEO when you join the new company. Okay. And it can also be pointing to a VIP report also, or it can be an alert template. So these notifications, you can see whether it's an alert template or whether it is a um, whether it is coming from a VIP report. So if, if the client says, I want this template layout to be changed, then you have to go into the template layout and then make the changes as such. Okay. So that is how, uh, that is how this is, these notifications are going to be there. You can see all your notifications. You can see all the notifications. You can also navigate to BPM worklist even from uh, here as well. So if you go to show all, it will take you to the place, which are the notifications which uh, have been created by you, which are the notifications which you have received and all the notifications. And you can also see the BPM work list uh, over here as such. Okay, so these are the navigations which you can see uh, from here. Now, from here, you can also see the setup and the, uh, the maintenance uh, things over here. You can also see setup and maintenance from here and uh, settings and actions. You can log in and log out from here. You can go to setup and maintenance. You can run some diagnostic tests. Okay. Diagnostic tests are there for any um, diagnostic tests are there for any module uh, over here. You can select a test and run it. You will be able to see the results. So these diagnostics can even be like these diagnostics can even be like rectification sort of a thing. So you can rectify some errors like orphan records in any database or orphan records, all those things. So you can set, see the accessibility settings and preferences and this edit pages, manage configuration, all these things are customization related things in the sandbox. So these will not work out unless you are inside the sandbox. Or even if you try to access it now, it will say uh, you must go and uh, be inside the sandbox only then you will be able to access it. Okay, so this is about the sandbox. Then again, setup and maintenance. You can navigate to the offerings, the functional areas and all those places. And uh, the record issue says, if you want to troubleshoot or if you want to show somebody some navigation and then say that, okay, this is how the issue has happened. Please look into it. Then uh, you, can, uh, you can show that uh, this is the issue. So it will record it and it will give it to you. Then uh, print me is for printing uh, the page. Then hide the help icons. So you, you will have help icons basically on the pages. If you don't want to show those help icons, then you can say hide help icons and it will not show you. Usually help icons should be there to navigate to the documentation purpose as such. Okay. And you have application help. It will take you to the um, documents of Oracle, <coughs> which are publicly available for every release. And you can see the release of this particular application on which release this instance is there or this pod is there, you can see it from here. And this is on 24B and this is 24.04. Okay, so this is uh, this particular navigation. Now, what is this one? So this one is called as a, um, uh, you know, panel or banner, you can call it. So you can see uh, that this contains some items or this contains some list. So the moment you click on a list, the area over here, the functions are changing. So this area, over here okay when you click on anything whatever is coming over here is this area is called springboard area this is called springboard area okay those who have worked on mobile applications or uh, you know all those things they can understand uh, okay so this is navigator and whatever you see in navigator uh, all the menus will be there over here also and the sub menus or the sub functions uh, you can see it uh, over here so this is called the springboard area 
and uh, these individual uh, squares you call them as work areas also okay so you can say compensation work area time management work area absence work area under my client groups uh, you can also say me pay so you can see me personal information me pay me career and performance so if you if somebody is saying me hyphen pay then that means the navigation is under me pay so as an employee you are navigating there so as a line manager you can navigate from here then you can see as an admin you can navigate to various work areas and in the springboard so this is called springboard you can call this as a function you can call this as sub function but usually you call it as springboard and then the work areas as such okay so all the things which you see in the navigator will most likely be available over here and sometimes some of the functions can be configured to be not visible over here but visible over here so when we go into sandboxes we we will be seeing all those how to make a, a function visible over here or conditionally visible or how to make a function visible or conditionally visible over here so this is called work area this work area contains uh, oh sorry uh, this is called springboard and springboard contains the work areas so each work area will have some functions um, then you need to work on those functions and then ensure that uh, you as an admin or you as an implementation consultant have implemented all those things inside that work area okay now what is this quick actions so under every menu over here you see the quick actions are changing so if you see under me these quick actions are most frequently performed actions for an employee if you see my team these quick actions are most frequent actions performed by the manager line manager if you see my client groups these will become the quick actions which are administrative related thing so as an employee what all quick actions you want to see you can see it from here so under personal info uh, work area you have these functions which you can navigate to so you can you can go to additional person info you can change your photo you can change the contact information you can look into existing time cards you can look into family and emergency contacts and update them you have your organization chart you can see you can see your pay slips uh, then you can see the notification settings you can see perform spotlight and access a function and then you can do all those things then you have grow so again this grow is also one of the a recent uh, in the last one year only oracle has come up with this so grow allows you to grow in your career how does it allow you to grow in your career it looks at your current skills your current position current job what are the current skills which you have attained and it will also look at your current intent what is your intent um, or career intent or where do you want to see yourself in your career and let's say that i want to see myself as a uh, hr admin or a payroll admin okay uh, down the lane now what are the skills which are required for you to achieve that versus uh, what is your current job and what is your current skills and what skills you need to attain to go to that so it shows the path uh, again this is all um, uh, this is all it shows like a flow chart okay this is your current skills and from these skills you have to attain these skills these skills these skills and then only you will go into the skills or you will achieve the skills which you require for your career intended job so this grow is a very um, useful thing uh, which they have come up with my employee experience recently in the last one year so as i said if any function it opens up with the url containing redwood then it is a vbcs page so this grow communicate uh, celebrate these are all recently introduced functions so you will see them um, over here uh, as such right so <laughs> so maybe it is taking time over here but when you log in and see you will be getting the what are the skills which are in your current role what skills you need to achieve all those things it will uh, show it up to you okay so you see what is um, what are the skills which you require to excel in the current role um how do you want to grow your career so you can grow your career you can explore your career path okay uh, you can see the current skills what are the learning topics what is your career of interest career of interest is uh, it shows you what is the profile which you want to go then your current learning suggested learnings development journeys all those things it will it will show it to you with the help of ai um, that uh, you know based on this particular thing it will show you okay so you need to uh you need to go through these courses to attain those skills 
right? So new learnings in the topics uh, you follow. So a lot of things are there. This um, you could use it uh, for uh, you know growing your career. So in growing your career, what is popular in your career of interest? Your career of interest is senior analyst. So for that senior analyst, uh, what are the skills which you require? All those things will be there here. And you can explore your career path um, as well. So how well you qualify for uh, the next career? What are your current comps? So it shows a flow chart like this, right? So you are a HR specialist uh, right now. And uh, if you want to move to a director and if you want to move to senior director, what is the career path and what are the skills which are required? What competencies and what is your current level? What are the open jobs which are there for you to apply? So a lot of things are there, which are the resources which you can use, uh, right? So all those things uh, which are available. So you could look into all those things and you can click on that. How will you qualify for director? So you click on that, it will show you the competencies and have you achieved that current level or not. If you have not achieved that, you can add those as your goals and achieve that. And then you can project yourself as moving into, uh, you know, being qualified for the uh, director role. So all these as a, see, you can add it to your career of interest and uh, your manager will be notified basically. Uh, okay. When you add it to your career of interest. So like that grow is a very useful thing which can be used. Okay. So what we were talking, we were talking about quick actions. So quick actions talks about all the frequently used actions. And when you go into show more, you can see the entire list of quick actions over here. So you can call this as a group. And you call this as subgroup or sub functions inside the group. Now, let's say that I am not implementing absence management in my company. So I don't want to show absence group and the functions to employees. So what I'll do, I will customize and say that this group should not be visible. So I can hide it in the quick actions. So all these things, you can do it in the sandbox uh, uh, structure customization. Okay, you can do it in the structure customization. Similarly, let's say you're implementing career and performance out of which you don't want to implement certain things. Let's say you don't want to uh, show certain functions over here, then you can uh, hide them. You can hide groups, you can hide functions also under, under a group. Okay, you can see what is the best to fit job for you. You can give feedback. You can add quarterly check-in documents. You can go to the skills center. You can look at your talent ratings. You can look at, you can request feedback about yourself and all those things, right? Uh, so this is about the talent related stuff. Then celebrate uh, web clock interviews. You can attend interviews. You can look into jobs and apply for jobs. Look into the jobs. You can refer people. You can search for the jobs and you can be alerted based on jobs, whatever is there. Then from benefits, okay? See, some of the things are coming because of directly because of the employee role. Like, for example, this employee may not be belonging to US or he may be belonging to US. Okay. So the in the employee self-service, if there are US specific functions which are there, like for example, healthcare FSA calculator, this is US specific thing. Now, Canada medical plan comparison. This is Canada related thing. The dependent care FSA. This is some other country related thing. So um, as an employee, so you can take the employee role, customize it, and then associate it to all the employees. And in that role hierarchy, you can remove this if it is not related to uh, your employees in the organization. Let's say you are implementing in India. Uh, let's say you are implementing in India. You do not want to show the US specific functions or other country specific functions. So you create a copy of the role of employee and then you delete all these hierarchies from there which are not required and then these functions will not be accessible to this particular employee in the quick actions so that is also possible so you can do it through the roles and you can also do it through customization if when you do it through customization you are saying that that is not visible to all the employees or you can conditionally make it visible to all the employees Okay, all those things can be done. Then again, in compensation, you can have personal contributions, your compensation, total compensation statement. Um, then wellness related thing. What are the activities you're performing? Your profile, okay, your wellness teams, your competitions which you have participated. What is your goal in the wellness? Right, where do you want to see yourself? Weight reduction or you know uh, staying fit? All the tasks which are out there, uh, you can navigate. So wellness is also one product. Uh, which is there inside HCM benefits and well, uh, health and wellness uh, is there. Then volunteering, what are your projects which you are participating, the service requests, your service requests which you have logged, it will go to 
the resp respective areas of responsibility related people and all those things then learning learning uh, learning uh, employee so as an employee you can see your current learning things you can publish video you can share your learning you can share your learning experience you can look into the learning communities and join the communities so you can you can navigate to all these things over here okay so quick actions provide you a way to navigate so you can navigate so how many navigations you have seen you can navigate from navigator you can navigate through springboard work area and you can also navigate through quick actions most likely every function even though it is not available in one of the work areas will definitely be available in the quick actions so as a manager um, let's say you come to my team and as a manager you see what actions you can perform so as a manager you have a lot of things you can perform to your team members so you can change the salary you can change compensation info you can give look into individual compensation you can look into your team compensation right then uh, career and performance you have to evaluate the performance of your team members celebrate you can um, have a team overview then you can look into absences as a manager you can see your teams existing absences teams donations teams absence balance uh, planning of absences all those things as a manager you could do right so based on the menu you are in the quick actions and the functions will change so if i am an admin then i come to my client groups and look into the quick actions let's say your organization says i don't want quick actions at all then you can disable it based on some profile so uh, that's a separate thing but i'm just trying to tell you that uh, in, even inside the quick actions you can see as an admin what all quick actions can be performed as a compensation admin all the function navigations are available over here there won't be any navigation which you cannot find it from uh, quick actions okay so all the navigations you can do it from here so if you are interested in compensation admin you can come here and then perform the actions learning admin then you can come here and see what functions are there uh, like creating the courses creating instructors creating self paced learning and all those things journeys if you want to set up you can come here and uh, then time so if somebody is interested in time uh, time cards time layouts and all those things you can uh, join uh, you can work it out from here then workforce structures uh, like jobs grades positions departments locations uh, security profiles data security profiles trees security uh, worker unions and all those things you can create it from here different organizations also you can create it grades grade ladders grade rates okay then different document types you can create it from here talent related thing like goals performance management um, uh, what do you call uh, succession planning everything you can see it from here as a uh, what do you call talent related admin um, everything related to performance appraisal uh, all the contents of that when we go to performance management we'll see those things uh, you can navigate from here celebrate right award element entries so you can celebrate uh, the success and all those things okay then you have absences um so you can see everything related to absence implementation and absence admin you can find it from here all the functions like the absence plans the absence types the absence reasons the eligibility profiles rate definitions okay repeating time periods absence cases categories certificates everything you can navigate from here then if you are a person who wants to learn benefits then all the benefits related admin actions you can see here data exchange hcm data loader hcm spreadsheet data loader and payroll interface and uh, uh, hcm extracts all the functions are available over here then as a payroll admin you can see all the administrative functions in payroll when we go to payroll we'll see these things then mass updates as a hr admin you can do it from here then hcm communicate workforce scheduling you can see what are the worksheets work patterns uh, work schedules all those things you can do it from here okay so this is about the quick actions which are there you can hide you can make it visible conditionally all those things you can do then you have something called things to finish at the bottom so things to finish are generally the notifications which are there uh, if you don't want this things to finish also you can uh, hide it by using customization basically all these things to finish are nothing but whatever you see on the notification bell icon okay whatever you see on the notification bell icon all those things are there then news and announcements if you want to make any announcements any news you can find them over here then this is about infolets and if you are creating any infolets and then trying to give show it to your employees you can show it from here so this is about the navigations in the instance right now when we go into individual modules you look into more depth of how to configure each and every uh, navigation for each and every module 
The next navigation which I want you to understand is go to docs.oracle.com. This contains the public documentation of any module whichever you want to learn in the HR. So let's say uh, you, you have some videos over here. Like for example, you want to go through some videos in some of the modules quickly within few minutes, right? So you can see everything related to cross product features or how to sign in, how to opt for features, how to submit a schedule process, how to configure and extend, okay? How to create this info lets, right? Quickly, if you, uh, you might be interested in a very small topic among this big list of topics. So you can see the video, you can analyze, you can report how to create reports, um, right? How to enhance an advanced report. How do you go into analytics and then drill to more details? Um, all these things you can find it here. Absences. Uh, how do you see the overview of absences in this small video? Then benefits, then compensation related stuff. How do you do all these things? So you might not want to learn the full product, but you want to see how that is equivalent in the fusion. Let's say, how do you want to uh, load the spreadsheets? Then you come here and then see how do you load the spreadsheets, right? How viewing the business objects, um, how do you working with the data sets and all those things. Global HR. Some of the functions in the global HR, how do you create grades, steps, ladders, and rates? Okay, then payroll related stuff. Then country specific payroll could be there. Then HCM X-Tax could be there. Then learning related stuff. Okay, so you have learning, then maybe US payroll uh, related stuff. Question is, this is in the performance appraisal. Time and labor related videos. Implementing, how do you configure the offerings? How do you set up the offerings? Offerings with scope. We'll see this in the FSM. Uh, when we do FSM export and import, I'll talk about scoping aspects. How do you export and import and do all those things? So, I, so you can go through these small, small videos. You don't have to learn the entire product also. Then if you want to learn Visual Builder, then you can come here and then explore. So small videos um, you can go through from here. This will be there for every release. Okay, it's not, It is publicly available. Uh, there's no restricted access to this. You can access. Then you have something called bite-sized learning over here. So in this bite-sized learning, you have two, three, four minute uh, kind of videos under some topics and you might be interested in small, small videos out of those. So go through those. Uh, how do I related uh, questions um, in each and every uh, thing? So where, why can't I see the organization where I created or uh, I need to, when creating the requisition? How do I personalize the job applications? So somebody who might be interested in recruiting might want to see these videos. Right? Now, you have all books over here, or you can see use contains how do you use an application or how do you use a product? Okay. So how do you use global payroll? How do you use time and labor? How do you use health and safety? How do you use HR? How do you use compensation? Small, small, small bits and pieces of the bigger product. Okay. How do you manage benefits? How do you use workforce modeling? How do you um, uh, uh, workforce planning? How do you do workforce planning? How do you use absence management? So small use contains how do you use the product? Implement contains how do you implement the product? So as an implementation consultant, you might want to go through the implementation document, right? So you can go through these for, for any doubts. Let's say you want to implement compensation. You can go through this, get the doubts clarified, or you, know, you can get your doubt clarified and then implement it. So like that, you can see implementation, implementation documents over here. Then administer contains administrative guides, which are there, all the admin guides. So as an admin, how do I administer analytics and reports? How do I, uh, you know, understand the release update bundles, release features, which are coming, which features are coming in which release, all those things, right? And then you plan your upgrade uh, sort of a thing, right? How do you integrate Fusion, Talio, Extracts, importing the data using data loader, all these things. Configure and extend, it talks about uh, configure and extend talks about the uh, customization sandboxes, modifying the pages using various tools, visual builder studio, uh, how do you migrate the configuration, design studio rules, auto complete rules for validations. All these things will come under configure and extend. Analyze and report is for reporting tools and all those things which is available. Okay, um, everything you can see about uh, reports and analytics and dashboards from here. The subject areas which are there in the dashboard sorry, in the OTBI, all those things you can see it from here. Secure talks about security. So we'll discuss security in the next session and everything related to security, security references, data roles, data security policies, user accounts, uh, giving security to them, all those things we can see the documentations and navigations from here. Then integration, 
is about integrating the fusion hcm system with the external like the soap web services the entire rest apis which are there in every module and uh, the sample uh, payload for each and every rest api you can see it from here how to call that then this is topic wise over here then if you want to see all the books you can see um, user guides okay user guides how do you use a particular module inside hcm then you have implementation guides okay then implementation guides will also have country specific implementation also wherever it makes sense uh, like for example payroll for a country and global payroll implementing global payroll so all the common features for every country you can see here then country specific features also you can see from this country specific documentation then admin guides contain administrative how do you manage as an admin that particular product everything you can see over here okay then otbi related thing let's say you want to learn otbi as an admin so you can review this particular otbi thing okay then you can see the configuration and extension this is all about extending um, as such sandboxes and all those things then security related guides you can see it in html integration so depending on what is that you you want based on that you can just go to over here and then clarify your doubts and the last and the important thing is the tables and the views for the hcm so here in this every module you have segregated modules tables and uh, you know the views so if you want to drill down into that particular module and go through the tables you can see the tables as such so for a technical consultant these uh, navigations or these tables how to find out let's say you're working on goals so you want to know what tables are there in goals right so the three letter keyword for goals is hrg so any table any view everything will start with hrg okay so goals goal access goal actions goal assignment goal plans goal plan goals and all those things right you can see so these are the tables so if you have mastered these tables then you would have mastered the goals technical aspects okay then common related uh, tables like alerts uh, okay um, then alert recipient alert tokens um, atom publishers then uh, so the data loader related thing dl is data loader related thing so if you want to become a technical consultant you should be exposed to these tables and you should know which table contains what so events okay so all these things you can see it from here the tables so anybody wants to become a te pure technical consultant then by module you can see the tables from here okay by module you can see the tables take any module inside hcm all the modules you will find the tables so this is a very useful uh, place where you can come and then review uh, these particular tables from here okay so keep this uh, handy uh, always right so usually consultants do not read this document whenever there is an issue right so if you want to become a good technical consultant then yes you must be aware of the documentation and the tables associated with this. So these are all the navigations which are there, which I want to show in the system. Now, when we go into individual modules, you will be aware of why I'm going into that navigation as a user. What type of user I have logged in. I have logged in as a consultant. I have logged in as an employee. I have logged in as a manager, or I have logged in as an admin. And why am I going through that particular navigation, right? And you can also see what is coming in each release under cloud readiness thing. So from here, you can see uh, in every uh, in every product family okay under every product okay what are the new things which are coming what's new you can see over here maintenance packs and helpful known issues and customer community um, all those things you can find it out from here so it again depends on how much you want to explore and how much you want to learn from these uh, navigations Okay, so this is about the navigations, guys. I hope you have liked it. If you have not yet enrolled into the course, and if you are interested, please enroll into the course. And uh, we'll start security uh, tomorrow. Any doubts, guys, in whatever we discussed today? Are the navigations clear to everybody? Are you now confident that when you open an instance, you can go to the place where you want and then perform the action? Yes. <clears throat> yes, guys. Is it clear? Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Sir.
Uh, Shivang? Yeah. Uh, the global search bar favorites and uh, the watch list, mm. how do we enable them? You have profiles for those or, uh, yeah, you have profiles. Uh, manage core administrator profile values. They will be there. Uh, you could mm -hmm. use that and you, sh yeah, you could use that for enabling. Manage core. Manage core administrator profile values. So that's a role or it's a profile? No, it is not oh, a role. Okay. You have to search for the task. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Okay, when you search for the task in setup and maintenance, there you can search for the task. You can go to the task and anything related to FND. All these things are common related to all the modules, right? It is nothing specific to do with HCM. So every, uh, so you can search it with FND. Anything related to FND, ATK, these all are application toolkit. These all come common to all the applications. So search the profile mm -hmm. options with FND watch list or percentage watch list or something like that. Do a wildcard search. You should be getting it. Okay, perfect. Um, you mentioned about BPM in work list. What is BPM? Business process management. Any rules which you cannot configure through the UI, you any complex rules, you will configure it over there, like vacations, approvals uh, for the vacations. If somebody is on vacation, the approval delegations, all those things will be done from there only. Mm -hmm. And if we record an issue uh, when the problem comes up, uh, where is it stored? It will be stored in the middleware. Uh, I think you can access that or if you have access to that or you can request Oracle, they would provide it. You can try out that. Oh. So, so if I'm as an end user have a problem and I record it hmm. uh, and, and it goes to the help desk, they should be able to access that uh, recording or is it? how do we handle that? They should be able to access it or they can raise a request uh, uh, with the Oracle okay. because this is all enterprise uh, management related middleware thing. So uh, most mm -hmm. this is again in cloud in SaaS. So as I said, uh, the end user may not have full access. So they okay. would have to approach Oracle and then say, this is the record issue. Please provide me this. Mm -hmm. You should be okay. able to get it. Uh, that shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Uh, you mentioned Springboard and then the work area, the mm -hmm. top bar. What do we call that? Where uh, we my... call it as panel. Panel. Okay. You also have different versions of it. Uh, when we go to customization, you will see panel, banner. Uh, there's one more thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it just the look and feel how it behaves. And you oh. click on that panel entry. Okay. Uh, these are. Uh... Uh, workspace like celebrate or volunteering and other stuff mm. are they if i activate them are they chargeable or are, do they come under hcm per se how, how does it work uh, they come under oracle my experience my employee experience so i believe they would have come up with oracle me in the last okay. one year so they come as part of all these me so grow mm. celebrate touch points uh what do you call all these uh, they come under that only communicate okay. there are five yeah. list of items here uh, one is grow one is communicate one is touch points one is celebrate and there's one more thing um, so all these come under oracle by employee experience okay. oracle B. okay i think we have not subscribed because none of them are available yeah okay. uh, then for the uh, role what is the role needed to have this my reporting? No, no, sorry, sorry. That's, I think I have it here. Uh, is there any quick mechanism to identify the tables and views if I'm looking from the front end? Say, for example, I'm looking in the person uh, workspace. No. and within... No, there's no way you can get it from the front end. This is all secure. Okay, even for a technical person, he, he or she should go to the documentation and figure it out yeah the name of uh, the page and the name of the table uh, uh, you can correlate from there and then uh, you can look into some of the reports and mm -hmm. look into the data model where you can find the queries from the queries you can get the tables oh okay 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 makes sense okay yeah. okay any other doubts guys
Siva, one question. What comes under my spotlight or uh, my person's spotlight? spotlight? You, uh, see, you, you, as an employee, you can perform anything. As a manager, you can perform various functions. Mm -hmm. Now, in if you are an employee in my spotlight, you can see what all actions you can perform one sing, from one single search uh, bar. So in single search bar, let's say you want to apply for absence. Then you type uh, search in for absence over there. It will take you to uh, add absence. So you don't have to navigate through the respective thing. You can just search for that function. It will take you to that page. So it's like a one-stop point of searching, you can say. Okay. And the same thing applies even to the manager and same thing applies to admin who have wider access to audience. Okay. And uh, could you please share that uh, link uh, where Oracle Docs you were showing to Docs. go into Oracle, detail? Docs.oracle.com. It will take you to that. Inside that, go to human resources. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, meet you again tomorrow. If you have not enrolled, please enroll into the course. I hope you are liking the way of the teaching. And Another doubt for me. Yeah, quickly tell me, actually. Uh, what is difference between work list and notification? Actually, both get notified. Right? Work list, BPM work list is uh, different. Work list contains the SOA extensions, the tasks, and which user can perform what tasks. That is uh, internal to this one. So when we go to workflow notifications and approvals, I'll talk about that. And how to change this uh, custom vision? Uh... It can be changed in appearance inside the sandbox under a configuration. So these are all part of customization, appearance, customizations. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Meet you again tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.